In this video, I will show you how to set up a really simple experiment to test some of the factors that affect rates of fermentation in bread yeast. For our lab today, we will need bread yeast, a flask, several beakers, test tubes, small plastic pipettes, metal washers, and some kind of sugar. First, mix about a half a teaspoon of yeast with about 100 milliliters of warm water in your flask. Stir it really, really well, then let your yeast sit for a few minutes. Your suspension of yeast should look something like this. If your experiment will use only one kind of sugar, you can add about a teaspoon or two directly to your flask and stir this in well too. If your experiment is intended to test different kinds of sugar, then divide your yeast solution evenly into several different beakers first. Then you can place different kinds of sugar in each beaker. Make sure you add the same amount of sugar to each beaker to control your variables. After stirring your sugars into your beakers, you'll need to let your yeast mixture sit for a little while, probably about 15 minutes or so. This will give the yeast a chance to sort of wake up and get to work metabolizing those sugars. Fill a pipette with your yeast mixture. You want the bulb to be full, but the tube should be empty and clear of yeast mixture so that gases can pass freely through. Invert your pipette so the bulb is at the bottom and tap it a few times to get as much of the mixture out of the tube and into the bulb as you can. You'll probably need to squeeze the bulb a little to push the excess mixture back out of the tube like I just did. Next, place two metal washers around your pipette tube. Then trim the end of your pipette so that the whole apparatus is about three inches long. Drop this apparatus into your test tube. The washers will ensure that your pipette sinks to the bottom and the tip of the tube should be submerged below the surface of the water. If fermentation is happening in the bulb of your pipette, you will see bubbles released from the tip of the tube. These bubbles are filled with carbon dioxide gas, a byproduct of fermentation. To measure the rate of fermentation, simply count the number of bubbles produced over a set amount of time, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. More bubbles produced in that time means higher rates of fermentation while fewer bubbles means that fermentation is happening more slowly. This experiment can be modified in many different ways to test the effects of different variables on the rates of fermentation in yeast. That will be your next task. Have fun!